Hi, this is Diana, and today I have an unboxing from a company I have not ordered from before, um, a UK company called Bird and Blend. So the package arrived yesterday. It's a little bit um, squished, but hopefully everything is all good. So let's get this opened. <laughs> All right, so the first tea that came out is Monkey Chops. I'm really excited about this tea. Um, it says, this banana tea is smooth, creamy, and simply the chops. The ingredients are uh, Sri Lankan black tea, freeze-dried banana, calendula petals, coconut, vanilla pieces, and natural flavoring. And I actually got two uh, 20 gram bags of this because they didn't have um, a 50 gram bag and I really wanted to have enough to experiment with. It seemed like this would be a flavor that I'd really enjoy. The next one of the 20 gram bags is birthday cake. This one is vanilla sponge with notes of sweet icing and cake sprinkles. It's a rooibos with Sri Lankan black tea, sprinkles, almond pieces, vanilla pieces, mallow flowers, and natural flavoring. Enjoy with or without milk. So yeah, I'm excited for birthday cake. As you'll see, most of these, if not all of these, are dessert teas. I really love blends and I love sweet teas, so I wanted to give some a try that I've tried from other companies, so like similar uh, flavor profiles. So the next one is a 20 gram bag of rice pudding and jam. This says a childhood pud classic, creamy with a dollop of sweet jam. It has apple pieces, rose hip, hibiscus, Taiwanese oolong, Chinese white tea, cinnamon, coconut, black currant leaves, and natural flavoring. Um, this one says to enjoy without milk because it does have hibiscus in it. So I'm wondering if this one will be better as like a cold brew or something. The next one is called jelly and ice cream. And this one says berry jelly brew with a sweet dollop of vanilla ice cream. It's rooibos, coconut, freeze dried strawberries, apple pieces, hibiscus, elderberries, rose hip, vanilla pieces, red corn flowers, and natural flavoring. Um, it says uh, enjoy with or without milk, so it must not have uh, much of the hibiscus in it. Um, it's caffeine free. So actually, let me see. Uh, the rice pudding and jam, this one is low caffeine. Uh, the birthday cake is also low caffeine. And the monkey chops is medium caffeine. Okay, so then I have some 50 gram bags. So here's my rationale for the order that I placed. They do have a sampler box that you can order and you get like 20 grams of either five or 10 different teas. So I was looking at the 10 different ones because I wanted to try a lot of their product and because they're from the UK, I had to order more in order to justify uh, and get the free shipping. So after I built up a huge cart, I whittled it down and I realized that if I were to get um, 50 gram bags of the teas that I was interested in um, and just get a few less than 10, like it, it would be about the same. So um, I decided to do that. So the next one is Peach Cobbler. And this one is medium caffeine. It says, think sweet peach and warm buttery pastry. Ooh. It's Ceylon black tea, freeze dried peach, pink corn flowers, and natural flavoring. Um, it's enjoy with or without milk. 
So yeah, I'm excited for peach cobbler. Peach is one of my favorite um, flavors. It used to be my favorite flavor of tea, but I've branched out. So, you know, it's, it's still a nostalgic favorite. The next thing we have is banana bread chai. This one is caffeine free. And it says lightly toasted banana bread chai with a dollop of butter. It has rooibos, cinnamon, ginger, freeze-dried banana, cardamom, vanilla pieces, and natural flavoring. You can enjoy this one with or without milk. Ooh. Okay, so this one I'm really excited about. It's Butter Brew. So this is a um, Harry Potter inspired flavor. Um, for everyone who read that, you'll recognize the, the butter beer. So Butter Brew is a wizarding wonder of creamy, caramely delight. It has Indian Assam black tea, Sri Lankan black tea, calendula petals, and natural flavoring. It's medium caffeine uh, with or without uh, milk. So excited to try that one. This one is Vicky's sponge cake. So this is um, Victoria sponge cake is a very famous and well-known UK dessert. Um, it's Queen Victoria's favorite dessert named after her. And um, so this cake, this tea is inspired by, by that. Um, it says, think vanilla sponge cake with a dollop of raspberry jam. It has Ceylon black tea, freeze-dried raspberry, raspberry leaves, co coconut, and flavoring. It can be had with or without milk. When I was in London, I went to Kensington Palace, which is where Queen Victoria was born and where she lived as a girl. And um, they have a cafe there. And so I did have a piece of the Victoria sponge cake um, in the gardens of Kensington, which was very lovely. And I'll insert a picture for you. The next one is called Eaten Mess. Um, this is smashed strawberries, sweet crumbly meringue and cream. It has apple pieces, rosehip, hibiscus, elderberry, freeze dried strawberry, licorice, strawberry pieces and natural flavoring. Um, it says enjoy without milk. So that's interesting. I was envisioning this one um, as a latte. So I guess this is probably gonna be a cold brew for me. I really love enjoying uh, most of my teas either as lattes or as iced teas. So that's pretty much my, my go-to. And then this one here is candy floss. So this one is cotton candy. Um, it says, join us at the fair with this sweet and scrumptious candy floss white tea. Um, it's low caffeine and it has Chinese white tea, apple pieces, hibiscus, elderberries, sprinkles, rose hip, freeze dried strawberry, red corn flowers, blue corn flowers, and natural flavoring. So I'll definitely be uh, excited to give this one a try as well. Who am I kidding? I'm excited about all of these. Okay, um, strawberry lemonade. Um, this one, it's in biodegradable tea bags and they're plastic free. This one says, um, with real strawberry chunks and zesty lemon peel, it's easy to see why this is one of our best-selling fruit teas ever. It says this one is great, hot, or iced. It's caffeine-free, and it says to enjoy without milk. The ingredients are apple pieces, hibiscus, elderberries, blackberry leaves, rosehip, lemon slices, orange peel, sunflower petals, strawberry pieces, lime pieces, and flavoring. And I got one final thing here. Oh no, it's completely dented. 
Um, so this is a tin that I got. That's disappointing. Let's see. All right, it's not too hard to shake back into a shape here. All right, geez Louise. Okay, so we'll pop the lid on. It says Bird and Blend. This is their Halloween um, branded one. You can see there's like a cauldron, witch's hat, tea, potion, um, some lightning and some apples and um, it's just so cute. I really just couldn't wait to get it. Um, I like to keep my teas and tins. They were selling um, a tin that was filled with um, the butter brew, but I didn't want to get 150 grams of it. I figured I would start with 50 grams and I can put it in the tin myself. So this is definitely very cute. Okay, and then it comes with some tea samples. This one is Mojiti, um, a super refreshing blend of green tea, peppermint, and lime. So I'm guessing that this is like mojito. Um, so there's that. And this one is Spiced Pumpkin Pie, um, perhaps our most loved blend ever, it says. So I'll be excited to try this one. I almost bought some, but I don't think I did. Okay, so I have 11 teas here to try. So that was pretty exciting that I was able to get so many different things from this uh, new company, new to me company. Um, plus two of their um, samples, which is nice. So I'm curious, have you guys ordered from this company before? Um, and if so, what are your favorite flavors? Um, are there other ones that are must tries that I should try and get my hands on next time? Um, I'll try and do some reviews on these. Um, but if you have any that you're really jonesing to hear about, let me know. Um, so thank you so much for watching today. I appreciate you taking the time to be with me and to check out my tea haul from Bird and Blend. Please give a like, uh, say hi in the comments, subscribe to the channel, um, because it makes me happy. So, all right. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care.